Today we're going to talk about fire starting. If you could guys go ahead and hit like and subscribe down below. It really helps me out as a channel. Now what we have here is a couple different options that I think are good options that you could have. I'm going to show you what I have as my favorite option uh, for starting any fire out there, whether it's a campfire or anything like that. So first off, you always need a good fire starting mechanism. Now, my favorite fire starting mechanism is a Bic lighter. This is actually my emergency kit right here that I always carry with me when I'm backpacking or fishing or hunting or anything outdoors where I'm off the road more than a mile. So Bic lighter, let's pray it works. It'll be pretty embarrassing if it doesn't. Let's see. There we go. All right, good flame. So Bic lighters are always known for good quality, so I recommend you use a Bic lighter. Um, this is the number one fire starting tool. So many people use all these silly gadgets and gizmos to try and start fire. If you have a Bic lighter in a plastic bag or a double plastic bag, you are gonna be much more well off than 99% of the people that carry these crazy different tools to start fires. So number one tool is a Bic lighter. Your second tool should always be some type of uh, flint object or fire striking object. Now they have magnesium uh, flint combos, so those are really good. Um, this is this is a Bear Grylls knife, and <laughs> it's actually a really, really good deal for a really strong fixed blade knife. That's a good size, has serrations and a nice point as well as a cutting edge. Um, and I've taught well over 12 people how to start fires. And you can look at this fair seam rod, and it has dwindled down quite a bit. But it still works. So you need something that people, you know, that you can use to, to spark embers if you, if you have the capability. So this is your backup to your preferred method, which is the Bic lighter. So... After that, you need to you need to spark something alive. You need to, you need to get your your tinder. So, here what I have is number one is going to be your tinder bundle from your dryer vent. So your your dryer cleanout vent has a bunch of um, dryer lint, and this dryer lint is nice and fluffy. Takes a spark, super easy. So I'm going to show you that right now. So I don't even need my lighter. And if I just go ahead and go ahead and cast a little bit of a spark onto it, it catches on fire right away. But look at that. That's a weak ass flame. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna we need something to improve that flame. So there's many things you can do to improve that flame. Now the some of the method is you go ahead and coat it in some type of a petroleum jelly. So if I take that dryer lint and I go ahead and coat it a little bit of petroleum jelly, it kind of becomes kind of goopy, all right? My favorite method, all right, this is what I got. So hopefully, hopefully this works out for me. So I got these, these cotton balls, right? So the cotton balls, if you put the petroleum jelly just on the outside of it, these have been sitting for years actually, so hopefully this works. So if you open it up, yep, all right, so I got a dry center, all right? So this center has not been touched by the petroleum jelly, all right? I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. But the outside has the petroleum jelly. So the petroleum jelly is good because it has a lot of energy inside of it. So I can go ahead and cast a spark down onto that cotton ball. Look at that. Now that burns fantastically, and so there's a lot, the petroleum jelly has a lot more energy in it, almost like wax, to provide to the burning of this, and it's very hot, so the petroleum jelly is very hot, it's a petroleum product, so that's great, we're using those hydrocarbons exactly how we need to use them. Alright, look at that, you can break it apart, still burns. This is what I'm talking about, all right? This is this is why I have this in my kit. Easily ignitable, has a lot of energy, 100% use cotton ball swabs, 
and rub petroleum jelly on the outside of them and you are good to go for a fire starting kit. So here I have this one right here. I can go ahead and pack that back in. There we go. Go ahead and seal it up. Now what I should do really is put electrical tape on the outside of this sucker. Look at that. Look how small that is. Look how small that is and you can start a good fire with that. So there we go. There's there's my favorite option. That's option number one. Now option number two, you can go ahead and go out there and make your own. So here we have this is my fire starting log. And actually I prefer this I'm going out camping. Alright. So now I'm gonna show you why, because this right here is packed full of dryer lint, and I went ahead and filled it up with wax. And so that you know that empty roll became filled with a bunch of dryer lint, packed with wax, and after I melted out, I, you know, I got these, I can cut these little discs out. So these little discs right here, you know, I can take one small little disc, I can cut it up a little bit, just kind of fluff it up. All right, now this has a lot of wax in it, which has a lot of energy. And it has a good fire starting capability, but here, here's the bad thing, right? So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to start a fire with this because it has wax coating all of the nice, fine material that's dry that can catch fire. It's just not gonna happen, all right? I could probably get it to work if I, if I had a lot of time, but here, look it. I got a, I got a lighter. Bingo. I go ahead and start this. All right, it wicks up the fire begins. Now I can start adding logs. I can start adding wet logs onto top of it. And those wet logs are going to start to dry out a little bit, crisp up. Boom. You, get start, fi you got fire starting to go. So if I'm going camping, I'm going to use this solution. All right. If I have an emergency situation, I want immediate fire. Camping, you know, I'm going to want something a little more with some a little more energy in case it's wet. All right. So you might want to have one disc of this, and then this to start the fire. So just imagine, it just depends on how, how far you want to go down the rabbit hole. So great option. This right here is going to burn for a long time. So if you need to heat up and dry out a lot of wet items, this is going to work the best for you. All right. So you can see how long it's burning right now. You can imagine, I, I bet that thing can go for about 15 minutes at least uh, with a good flame before it gets put out. So let's, I can take my knife and just tamp it out, all right? And then use it again, all right? Very, very awesome for, I can use this multiple times um, so it can last me through an entire camping trip, long period of time with just one small disc. All right, next option. All right, here we have the military solution. Uh, now this uh, diethylene glycol, um, you know, has 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 some good pros and it has some cons. Now this is mainly used. The army wanted to say, "Hey, how are you going to be able to boil water uh, in scenarios where you, it's very difficult?" So I can cut this and squirt a little bit out. I'll go ahead and put a link for this down below, but it's not my favorite option. All right. So here you got a little bit of that jelly. All right. There is no way I've tried that you can that you can immediately start this, all right? I've tried many options trying to start that right away, and it's just not gonna happen. So you gotta have some type of a lighter, but, um, and it takes a good second to get it going, but let's see, there it is, okay. So this is actually a blue flame. I don't know if it's, if it's easy to see, but you can see a little bit of a blue flame. Ah. It's a blue flame and it is hot. So the benefit of this is that it's extremely hot. It can boil water very quickly, all right? And it gives off no smoke, all right? It has no residue. It is just extremely clean burning and extremely hot and great at heating up something if it's very close to it. Now this is, this is very hot. It's hard to get my hand near it to show you the blue flame. But it's a pretty incredible product, but I just, it's just so hard to ignite in the first place that um, I, I failed to kind of 
Um, seed is a great option for when you should put something inside of your emergency kit. So my emergency kit has inside of the cotton ball coated in petroleum jelly. This has been in there for five years. Well, no, no, it's over six years and you know, it, it never failed, right? With a Bic lighter. So six years, Bic lighter, petroleum jelly cotton swab. You know, I'll put links down to it down below, but you can get that stuff at a gas station um, for very cheap. Um, and then I'll go ahead and show you how I went ahead and made this puppy, which I use for camping all the time. And um, I make these, I make these about once every, uh, I think, three years. I, I make one roll and I use it for camping um, for, for the the following times that year they go camping and it always works. So anyways, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and post a comment down below. I really appreciate you guys coming on board. And so go ahead and hit like and subscribe. It helps me out. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Take care.